Welcome to the University of Maryland. Please take this opportunity to silence your cell phone and anything else that might beep or buzz. Please take note of the nearest exit from the venue in case of emergency. Thank you for joining us on this important day. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Need everyone's attention. I've never seen a theater so empty. It's, it's, it's unusual for me to see it this way. Um, my name is Gordon Libby. I am the principal here at College Park Academy. We are back here today at the Clarice Center in the Deckelbaum Theater, where we had our first graduation um, in 2019. So we welcome you to the Deckelbaum Theater here on the campus of the University of Maryland. And we are almost ready to begin uh, the processional. But before we do, I would like to take this opportunity to solicit the cooperation of our audience during today's program. We have worked very hard with our graduates to convey to them the dignity that a commencement program should have. I think that you'll see the fruits of our labor in a minute. We are soliciting the cooperation of our audience today with today's program to keep unnecessary noise to a minimum throughout the ceremony. We especially ask that there be no noisemakers, whistling, or screaming when our students are presenting. Noisemakers in the form of air horns are strictly prohibited. Anyone using an air horn will be asked to leave the theater. In addition, please refrain from standing in seats. A professional photographer will photograph each graduate as he or she receives a diploma. Those pictures will be made available to you in the link that was provided in the email that I sent to you last week. At this time, please check to see that you have silenced your cell phones. Nothing more embarrassing than to have your phone go off during the middle of a graduation. In line with Prince George's County Public Schools COVID-19 restrictions, masks should be worn over the nose and mouth throughout the ceremony. Please be cognizant of social distancing with those outside of your household. Thank you for your cooperation in these matters. We appreciate your help in bringing dignity to this commencement celebration. I will be heading out in a second to head up our processional and bring our young people in. Um, the one little difference that you will notice and you can see here that we do differently in other graduations is that our graduates are on stage with us. So that will be one difference that you'll see today. So thank you for being here today. I truly appreciate it. And I truly appreciate everyone's efforts today to be here um, and also to follow all the rules and regulations that we have in place. Thank you and have a great afternoon.
Please stand for the presentation of the National Anthem. Gentlemen, please remove your caps. At this time, Rachel Odomade from our own class of 2022 will sing the National Anthem. can be seated at this time. Thank you, Rachel, for that beautiful rendition of the National Anthem. That was spectacular. Thank you very much. Um, at this time, what we'd like to do is play a video for you. Um, this video is from Dr. Daryl Pines, who unfortunately is on business today and couldn't join us for our graduation. But Dr. Pines is the 34th president of the University of Maryland. So at this time, if we could play the video. Hello, College Park Academy staff, families, and especially the graduating class of 2022. I am Daryl Vines, president of the University of Maryland. Welcome to the lovely Clarice Smith Performing Arts Center to participate in this important mob show. I apologize that I am unable to attend today due to our prior commitment. College Park Academy, however, is close to my heart. Today, CPA seniors graduate in the Clarice, a fitting metaphor for the relationship between the university and the school. The University of Maryland and College Park Academy had a deep relationship dating back to the school's founding in 2013. University students mentor, teach extracurriculars, and start their student teaching practicums at CPA. Over the past two years, CPA and the university partnered in a grant to train teachers across the state in the use of technology in a virtual environment. CPA has tailored course sequences that align with university programs and its students take courses and participate in activities on the UMD campus. We are deeply proud of this relationship, which strengthens every year. Today, I thank you, the graduating seniors, for helping me work towards the university's vision. I have set forth four pillars in fearlessly forward our new strategic plan. Reimagine learning, partner to advance the common good, invest in people and communities, and take on humanity's grand challenges. And you are the evidence of all of these pillars. You have demonstrated not only outstanding academic success, but also innovation and community engagement. And you have built a warm and supportive community. In fact, CPA students work with Professor Stephen Thomas, 
director of the Maryland Center for Health Equity, and member of the CPA Board of Directors, spearheading community engagement opportunities for his Fearless Ideas course. Students constructed a decorated, a do-it-yourself air filters to prevent the spread of airborne viruses, and they will be delivered to local barbershops, beauty salons, churches, and community centers. This project is a small representation of the great work at CPA. So, what happens tomorrow? After you savor the moment of this important day, you begin the work in which we all share, addressing the impacts of a pandemic, racial disparities, and climate change. You will do this by taking what you have learned and building upon it, by living in a fearless and productive life that honors yourself and others. I wish you the best. Again, welcome to the Paris and the University of Maryland, and congratulations on your achievements and aspirations for the future. College Park Academy, Class of 2022. And always remember, Go Terps! At this time, I would like to introduce our distinguished platform guests. Stephen Baker, middle school principal. Jane Godwin, professional school counselor. Leah Alesha Mogun, valedictorian. Miriam Kwate, salutatory. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make sure they know who they're waving to. Tori Best, Senior Class President. And our Superstar Vocalist, Rachel Otomade, Senior Class Vice President. Elizabeth Saunders, Instructional Director at Charter Schools. Pamela Boozer Struthers, School Board Member, District 3. <laughs> Dr. Christopher Monroe, Professor, University of Maryland, and our guest speaker today. <laughs> Dr. Sandy Abuaja, Executive Director, College Park Academy. <laughs> Zachary Francis, Senior Class Sponsor. And uh, Dr. Douglas Strader, Chief of Accountability for Prince George's County Public Schools, representing Dr. Monica Golson for Prince George's County Public Schools. <laughs> this time I'd like to also introduce the College Park Academy Charter Board. Robert Day, Board Chairperson. <laughs> Robert Catlin, Treasurer. Dr. Carolyn Bernash. Mike Potterala. The Honorable James C. Rosapel. Dr. Stephen Thomas. Board members that could not be with us today are Dr. Gaytree Varma. Carlo Colella, Secretary. <laughs> Dr. Bonnie Thornton-Dill. <laughs> Dr. Helene Colson-Cohen. <laughs> and Dr. Sagoon Eubanks, Vice Chair. <laughs> we will now have remarks from Dr. Douglas Strader, Chief Accountability. Good afternoon, Principal Libby, distinguished staff, platform guests, parents, graduating class of 2022 that have earned over 
$138,728 in scholarships this year. Round of applause. On behalf of the Chief Executive Officer, Dr. Monica Goldson, I bring you greetings and a heartfelt congratulations for a job well done. You successfully completed 13 years of formal education and had the most eventful high school experience ever known. You've passed courses taught virtually, in person, took online examinations, in-person examinations, dual enrollment type courses, advanced placement exams, and ultimately fulfilled the graduation requirements in preparation for your post-secondary experience in the world of work, trade school, military, or college. Graduation commencement addresses are meant to impart wisdom and share the important life lessons with inspirational words such as, follow your dreams, listen to that inner voice and make it sing, change the world, make your mark on it. Embrace failure and dare to dream. While it is important to make the time to dream, make more time to go out in the world and do. Some people dream of what they want to be and do, while others are busy doing, living, creating, building, and seizing the moment. The world's most successful people want beyond dreaming is to, in fact, do, and do so when reaching beyond their comfort zone and beyond their reach. This is one of the successes of most successful people. Maybe you know exactly what it is that you dream to do. Maybe you know that dream intimately. Maybe you know exactly where you want to be, how you want to do it, and how you want to get there. The truth is, you may not, and it really doesn't matter at this point in time. What is important is that you keep moving, doing something to seize that next opportunity, and stay open to trying new things. That is what's most important. Don't let life scare you. Don't let your next episode scare you. Let it surprise yet motivate you to keep your dreams and make them a reality. Not everyone will achieve success the same way, but each of you has shaped your own path to this graduation day, and that is unique and undeniably yours. Comparing yourself to others and their successes only slows you down from achieving your own. So a quote from Paulo Cahill, there's only one thing, one thing that makes a dream impossible to achieve, and that is the fear of failure. Ask any basketball fan who was one of the greatest basketball players of all time, lately we call these the GOATs, the greatest of all times, uh, the name Michael Jordan comes to mind. Michael Jordan is recognized by the NBA, by the fans, and even by colleagues in basketball as an icon of the sport. When asked, Michael Jordan attributes his success to his many failures because he has claimed that these failures have made him try even harder. They certainly did not discourage him. When he was very young, he was not even thought to have basketball talent. He was instead a baseball player. He shared that at one point in time, he was even cut from the high school basketball team. He's actually counted his failures over his career, and he's attributed to these numbers. He's missed over 9,000 shots during his career. He's lost over 300 games. And there were 26 times that the coach placed the ball in his hand to make that last second shot, and he missed. He attributes these failures over and over and over again in his life as to why he has been so successful. Most champions are not discouraged or unmotivated by failures. Instead, they embrace them, learn from them, and use those as their path for success. And I quote from Michael, I know that fear is an obstacle for some people, but for me, it was just an illusion. Failure always made me try harder on the next opportunity and the next, and the next, until I succeed. Congratulations, class of 2022. Enjoy your success, and make us all PGCPS proud. Thank you.
Thank you, Dr. Schrader, for your remarks. It is my pleasure to introduce to you the 2022 College Park Academy Salutatorian. She has attended College Park Academy since the sixth grade. She is a National College Board African American Recognition Program Scholar, and she also received the AP Scholar with Distinction Award. In the fall, she will be attending Emory University in Atlanta, Georgia, where she plans to major in biology on a pre-medical track. She hopes to become a family medicine physician and could conduct philanthropy in Sierra Leone. With a cumulative GPA of 4.377 and an end of the year GPA of 4.42, it is my honor to introduce to you the College Park Academy Salutatorian of 2022, Mariam Kowate. Hello, family members and staff, and hello to the graduates of the College Park Academy class of 2022. Congratulations on getting to this very special day. I want to give a heartfelt thank you to the teachers and staff at CBA who go above and beyond to ensure our success and social development. Today is a day of celebration of a four year journey. Sometimes it felt like it would never, this day would just never come. <laughs> but look, we're really here and we should all be proud of ourselves. We got through a pandemic where we were stuck in the house every day we sat through tedious AP exams, and we finally finished our overdue elective exams. Kanye West once said, nothing in life is promised except death. If you have the opportunity to play this game of life, you need to appreciate every moment. A lot of people don't appreciate their moment until it's passed. College Park Academy, class of 2022, I urge you to appreciate this moment. Please do not ever forget what matters. Whether you're going to college, joining the workforce, enrolling in the military, or taking a break, please do whatever makes you happy. You only get one chance at life on this earth. Make it count. Let your diploma be the proof of the hard work and dedication that got you here. Stand tall and be confident. Use your knowledge and abilities to change someone's life or make the world a better place. Be kind to others. The generations before us made huge mistakes that had devastating consequences. Let us be the generation that does not only strive to avoid the same mistakes, but bring solutions to environmental concerns, advocates for LGBTQ plus rights, and finally puts an end to racism. Nothing is impossible or out of reach. I know at this age, as melodramatic teenagers, we fantasize or worry about what the future will be like. Well, spoiler alert, life will get difficult. But when life gets hard, remain steadfast. Things always get worse before they get better. And as a wise woman once said, this too shall pass. I say all this to express that when the going gets tough, do not lose hope and say life will never get better because it always will. Bad times never last forever. Lastly, I want to acknowledge the fact that the salutatorian and valedictorian this year are not only women, but first generation West African American women. <laughs> Congratulations again to each of you, and may you continue to flourish in the years ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Miriam, for that great speech. It is also my pleasure to introduce to you the valedictorian for College Park Academy's class of 2022. She has also attended College Park Academy since the sixth grade, receiving the principal's list every quarter of her high school career. She has founded and served as the president of CPA's Faith Found Christian Club. She has been the president of Mu Alpha Theta, She's the co-editor-in-chief of the Phoenix Newspaper Club, 
She's the vice president of the Interact Club, and she's a member of the National Honor Society and a student ambassador. Outside of College Park Academy, she serves as the publications coordinator of the Prince George's County Student of the Board Advisory Council and runs her own community-based nonprofit, Girls Bring Up Girls, and is a published author. She is also the first person to be attending an Ivy League school thus far from College Park Academy and will go on to attend the Wharton School of Business at the University of Pennsylvania. And she will major in business economics and public policy, aspiring to be a corporate lawyer, graduating with a 4.3 cumulative GPA and ended her senior year with a 4.86 your valedictorian, Leah Aloshimova. Thank you for such a warm introduction. Good afternoon, classmates, parents, guardians, mentors, teachers, principals, and board members. My name is Lea Mountain Eleshimogu, the valedictorian for the class of 2022 at College Park Academy. Before I begin my speech, I would first like to thank the Almighty God for giving me the strength and guidance over the past four years to get to this position today. I would also like to thank my parents, Bumi and Joshua Leshimogun, my siblings, John and Joan Leshimogun, all my College Park Academy teachers, my principals, the board members, my closest friends, and my entire extended family for being the greatest support system I could ask for. Without any of you, I would not be where I am today. To the class of 2022, we finally did it. Whether it's your first year at CPA or your seventh, I cherish every moment we spent together. From coming in dressed in our pure white collar polos, scrambling around like little ants in the basement of our old building. Then in seventh grade, when we were all so excited for those red polos because our ketchup stains would finally match, blend into our shirts. To eighth grade, with our gold polos, we danced the day away on the cruise. To getting promoted to high school, we finally were legally allowed on the right side of the building. <laughs> then in 10th grade, we, were, we got told that we were going on a two-week vacation so the coronavirus could quickly pass over. They kind of lied to us, and we ended up doing virtual school for the next year and a half. To our junior year, how we made countless FaceTime, live lesson, and Discord calls to each other between each virtual class. And finally, our senior year, the top dogs and we're looking back at how far we've come. I wouldn't trade the last seven years for the world. But before moving on, I would like to acknowledge our dearest classmate, Alessio Olsen, who is no longer with us. Alessio, I speak on behalf of the class of 2022 when I say that you will never be forgotten and that this is your special day as well. We're so close to earning the distinction of College Park Academy graduates for which we fought so hard for. I'd like us to consider the positive influence we've had during our time as Phoenixes, as well as the passions we've cultivated alongside our peers and teachers. I encourage you to pursue your hobbies and aspirations and to stay true to yourself and your character no matter where life takes you. As Coco Chanel once said, be who you are not who the world wants you to be. With all that being said, go on out in the world and be great. I have no doubt that you all will succeed. God bless the class of 2022, and congratulations once again. Thank you. Thank you, Leah, for that very inspirational, great speech. Both of you did a fantastic job. Thank you very much. At this time, please join me in welcoming Dr. Christopher Monroe. Christopher Monroe is a professor of physics and electrical engineering at the University of Maryland and Duke University. He is also the founder and chief scientist 
of um, IMQ, a company that makes quantum computers and is just down the street from College Park Academy. Professor Monroe went to college at MIT, got his PhD in physics at the University of Colorado. He has been a professor at the University of Michigan and the University of Maryland and now Duke University. He is an atomic physicist and a pioneer in the field of quantum computing. Dr. Monroe was a key architect of the U.S. National Quantum Initiative passed by Congress in 2018 and he is a member of the National Academy of Sciences. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Christopher Monroe. Well, uh, thank you, Principal Libby and uh, uh, Dr. Abuarja and the, the board of College Park Academy for having me. It's, it's quite an honor. Uh, and I want to obviously congratulate uh, all the, uh, the, the graduates, a very impressive class, and I do have a message for you, and it will, yes, involve quantum a little bit. But first, I want to say that I've never uh, delivered a high school graduation speech, um, but I did graduate from high school. Uh, it wasn't easy. I graduated uh, in a class rank of 82, and I won't tell you how many uh, students were in the class. It wasn't a huge school. Um, and I'll also say that my last three days of high school, I was in detention. I had to sweep the parking lots all those three days. And I'm not going to tell you why. <laughs> in any case, um, my life back then, uh, I, was a, I, was a, I was raised in Detroit, along with Principal uh, Libby. Uh, my life back then was defined by baseball, uh, cars, classical music, and mathematics. A little bit of an introvert, I guess. I considered going to college at the General Motors Institute, which was at the time actually a very interesting engineering school. Uh, I also was considering going into music, uh, uh, playing the piano. Um, my father, an armchair mathematician and a, uh, an actuary, had a small business. He predicted that I would become an experimental physicist, partly because I was pretty good at math and I liked working on cars. So I've been a physics professor at the University of Maryland for the past 15 years. And my specialty is a very strange area of physics called quantum physics. And I want to dive in very briefly uh, before I, I charge, charge the class with their uh, graduation assignment. So several years ago, I co-founded the company INQ, uh, again, not far, not far from CPA. And we built quantum computers there. And I want to get into that a little bit. These computers are not like anything you know. Uh, quantum computers have power that's derived by some very weird principles. Let me give you an idea of what that means. A quantum thing, you may have heard this, quantum physics applies to very simple things like atoms or electrons, pretty exotic material. Well, you may have also heard that quantum things behave as a wave, not really a particle. So they can be distributed, sort of like when you throw a rock into a pond, the wave is everywhere. Well, it turns out that everything is a wave. Even little atoms can be in multiple places at the same time. That's very strange, but the math behind it is not strange. It's just like the math we use to describe how waves oscillate and undulate and how they propagate. The math is not very hard. What's hard is that we have no intuition. What does it mean to have, I can put this mask in two places at the same time. So um, in, in order to deal with it, in quantum physics, we invent another rule, and that says that, sure, the mask can be in two places at the same time, as long as we don't look. <laughs> it's a little bit goofy. And quantum has a little bit of goofiness to it, and this is why it's very strange, and uh, I would say rather exotic. So it comes, th this theory forces us to define reality in a very strange way. And by the way, Einstein, Albert Einstein, never accepted it. Uh, he, 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 uh, he, he actually died not believing that this was the final theory. But since then, we, uh, we have accepted this as that's the way things go. Now, what happens when you do look at a quantum 
superposition, something that's in two places. Um, don't worry, I'm, I'm, I'm focusing down now. <laughs> um, when you do look, the system r randomly pops into one state or the other. That's very strange because who decides what happens when you observe something like this? Well, Einstein said God does not play dice, but apparently God does play dice because when you look at a quantum system, it randomly pops into one or the other. That's, we have to accept that. Now, you probably are aware of what a probability is, like when we toss a coin, it's 50-50, or it's going to rain with 50% probability. We always use probabilities because we're ignorant of the details. In quantum, we have to use probabilities. It's not because we're ignorant of details, we have to. So this is strange. It seems like somebody's cooking the books in the background. This, this, is, this is behind Einstein's line, God does not play dice. So it requires us to redefine reality, but there's more than just philosophy here. It turns out there's technology behind this. If you store numbers, multiple numbers at the same time, you can perform amazing tasks. This so-called quantum computer will be able to tackle problems that we cannot touch with regular computers. Problems involving modeling climate change, modeling financial uh, transactions, modeling logistics. It's going to hit every sector of the economy. It's a very weird type of computing, and it requires that we sort of re-educate ourselves on what, what a computer means. So when I first learned these laws in college, I was, I, was, I was kind of angry because it didn't make any sense. In fact, my textbook still has a rip on its bindings. I, I threw it across the room. I was just frustrated. It was strange, but I was totally hooked. This was this is what I wanted to do. So um, indeed, I, I, I won't go, go through the history, but I want to couple it to what you're going to do next. And it has to do with randomness and, and uncertainty. It's inevitable. It's part of science and it's part of your life. Like it or not, you are going to go down a road that is going to be defined by many random things, very important parts of your life, like your friends, maybe a future spouse, it's going to be random. It might, it will almost certainly depend on where you move, maybe what college you go to, who you meet. Embrace randomness, it's okay. As you, as you find your place in history, don't worry about taking the random choice, something that you happen to love. And as you go through college or start to define your career going forward, don't worry about becoming narrow in something. Just make sure you love it. Make sure you love what you do. That's, that's, that's my closing advice. Now, you want to learn many things in life, and you might feel in college or in your career that you, you chose too soon. Well, just go all the way in what you do. And that is truly how you leave your mark on society going forward. So congratulations to the class of 2022 at CPA, and you will all do just wonderfully in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Moreau, for those very wise words and very accurate words about randomness, that's for sure. Good afternoon, everyone. Let me welcome in our second row, who I introduced earlier, our CPA board members who are able to be with us today. This is the group that had the vision to start this great school that these students talked about. They gave us all the opportunity to be here today. I also want to thank Dr. Abuaja for our, our executive director for her leadership and guidance um, through the pandemic and over these past two years. I want to take this opportunity to thank you, the CPA parent, who have raised these outstanding young people sitting behind me today. I would also like to acknowledge uh, a couple of parents who seem to attend every graduation. Mr. and Mrs. Yuandu are at their, are at their third graduation and four students. Um, and so I will miss calling you, Ms. Yuandu. No more chin to call, sorry. And also, Mr. and Mrs. McDowell, 
are also at their third graduation. And I will miss Mr. McDowell calling me. We will be sad to see all of you go as parents. The one thing I want to say is when people ask me about the success of College Park Academy, I always credit every one of you out here for the great job that you do as parents. So thank you very much. To our awesome College Park Academy staff, this is a staff this year, we're being recognized by U.S. News and World Report as the second highest ranking high school in Prince George's County. And it's because of all of you. It's the vision of the board. It's the parents who make sure that these young people do what they're supposed to do. It's the work ethic of these students here and the great job that they did working through a pandemic. And it's also this work of this very dedicated, hardworking staff over here. Can we give this staff a great applause? <laughs> and we could have had a number of teachers of the year, um, but we had one. But to me, they're all teachers of the year. But I'd like to recognize Mr. Josh Young as the Maryland Charter Teacher of the Year. I think he's very representative of the hard work that the entire staff does. And without their rigor, their guidance, their support, our students would not be able to celebrate this milestone today. Thank you, you guys, thank you. And last but not least, the most incredible group of young people who are seated behind me today, the class of 2022. A graduation ceremony is always such a special occasion, the culmination of years of hard work, the actualization of goals attained, and the acknowledgement of successes achieved. But this year's graduation is even more special because of the type of school years we have experienced. COVID-19 and the pandemic we experienced is historic, and I would say so is their graduation. It has been a journey. Unfortunately, in some journeys, there are tragedies. CPA experienced such a tragedy this year. During our Christmas break this year, when senior Alessio Austin passed away. I want to take this moment to remember Alessio. I want to reiterate what Leah said earlier, that this class of 22, the CPA staff, the CPA board, we want to let you know, Mr. and Mrs. Austin, that we will never forget your son. <clears throat> and also, please, they are joining us here today, Mr. and Mrs. Austin. Thank you for coming here today. Seniors, you have overcome so much over the past three of the four years you were in high school. They only had one regular school year, their freshman year. After that, it was a roller coaster. And they came out probably better than any group of seniors in the state of Maryland. You have encountered more trials and tribulations along the way than any of our past graduating classes. You have overcome the pandemic and are one of the most successful graduating classes in all of Prince George's County Public Schools. You have made everyone so proud how you have excelled, whether it was virtually or in person. You have learned how to overcome obstacles and be the best that you can be, regardless of your circumstances. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. wisely said, be a bush if you can't be a tree, if you can't be a highway, just be a trail, if you can't be a sun, be a star, for it isn't by size that you win or fail, but be the best of whatever you are. As we look back over this past year, let's never forget where we have been. The end result, ladies and gentlemen, in spite of the obstacles that you have faced along the way, the end result is this graduating class of 2022. 
Congratulations, we are extremely proud of you all. You are ready, willing, and more than able to be the best that you can be. May your years ahead continue to be characterized by empathy, compassion, objectivity, and a willingness to take risks. May you always lead by example and work hard and play straight. And may your successes be many and your tribulations be few and far between. We wish you everything that you so richly deserve in the years ahead. It has been an honor and a privilege watching your progress and success. Your new journey class of 2022 begins today. I know you are ready to take on the world and show your Phoenix pride. Much success to the class of 2022. Dr. Boozer Struthers, can you join me on stage over here? Thank you. I haven't earned that doctorate yet. Oh, me either, <laughs> don't worry. We're, we're, I'm still working on it as well. Thank you. It's a lifelong project. Uh, at this time, College Park Academy is an accredited member of the Middle States Association of Colleges and Schools. I, Mr. Gordon Libby. And I, Pamela Boozer Struthers hereby certify that these students have completed the courses required by the Maryland State Department of Education and have met the requirements for a high school diploma. By the powers vested in me, the Board of Education of Prince George's County and the Maryland State Department of Education, I declare this class of 2022 to be graduates from College Park Academy. Thank you, uh, Ms. Boozer Shrothers. We have come to the most exciting part of the program, awarding the diplomas to the class of 2022. The graduates and the, these graduates can stand up at this time, and the graduates in the first row where Ms. Johnson was sitting, please rise. Sophia Aisha Bugani. <laughs> Laura Justine Charleston. <laughs> Alyssa Nicole Hutchison. <laughs> Lauren Renee Joyner. Nima Gior Sane. <laughs> Khadija Veronica Sharif. <laughs> Joshua Wesley Waters. <laughs> Ola Adepe. Babajide and Eric Bigger. Joel 
Tengwa Akwade. Audrey Faith Alston. Isaiah David Atchison. Elmer Alexis Argeta. Ade Tokombo, Ade Loyin, Daniel Awasanya. Yunisa Bangora Jr. Samantha Nicole Blake. Kimberly Bianca Serna. Leonardo Alonzo Chiquez. Carlos Giovanni Cruz. Tamunosaki Danagogo. Dana Dandridge. Akpana Godwin Ekpo. Hazel Granillo. Nathan Harley. Avery Jaden Harris. Makeda Padilla Henry. Amani Isa Joseph Edwards. Jonathan Steven Lopez. Alexio, Alexia Mahana. Dominique Lily Mirage. Joel McCollum. <laughs> Joseph Paul McDowell. <laughs> Jeremy Antonio Mercado. <laughs> Robert Moreland. <laughs> Noah Jackson Moselle. <laughs> Nicholas J. Myers. <laughs> Aitisha Paris Newman. <laughs> Melvin Mendez Saavedra. <laughs> April Marie Oates. <laughs> Theodora Annis Osborne. Laura Bell, Patricia, Romaldo, Leonardo. <laughs> Layla Sharp. <laughs> Terrell Anthony. 
Kathleen Sharp. Chinameze, Joseph Martin Uwagu. And Isaiah Timothy Williams Bell. At this time, I would like to invite Mr. and Mrs. Austin to join me on stage. I want to take the opportunity to recognize Alessio for his hard work while he was a student at College Park Academy. And today, let's see where Ms. Canyon is. Let's the the box where is it oh. it's hidden from me and present to you his cap and gown that he would have worn today i want you to know as we said earlier lesso is always a part of college park academy Class of 2022, please stand. <laughs> Traditionally, the moving of the tassel at graduation symbolizes one's transition from candidate to graduate. Class of 2022, on the count of three, move your tassel to the left. One, Two, three. Congratulations. Can you start the music? <laughs> 